Okay guys, just another quick video. Uh, this time I am changing the ball joint, the lower ball joint or rose bush ball joint type thing on the passenger side rear of my E60 530 DBMW, it's the E60 shape. So first things first, get it lifted up underneath the arm there. Uh, set it down on an axle stand and I shall get this wheel off. Okay, so the car up, secured an axle stand and the wheel off. So once you come under here, this big bolt is going to have to come out. Oh, there's a nut on the far side of it. There. Okay, there's also an integral bolt up here that needs to come out as well in order to separate this section from this arm here so that you can pull the pair them apart and get out the bush in there. So I don't know what size they are just yet. Gonna have to clean them off big time. They're covered in crud and find out what size they are and then come back. Okay, I've done a bit of measuring for the micrometer and uh, checking sockets and stuff like that. And I've also cleaned up these bolts. So this is the view looking at the wheel. On my car, this is a 24 millimeter. The one slightly above it, the integral link, is an 18 millimeter. So the first things I'm going to do is clean that a bit more, some penetrant oil, and loosen that. I'll have to work this other side the opposite way. This one here, apologies the light's not great. It's the same one I showed you earlier, just the other side of that bolt. This is an 18 millimeter as well. So. Uh, I'll treat that with some penetrant in order to give it a bit of a more of a clean. And then we'll see how hard that is to loosen up. Okay, so just a wee update here. I'm just giving this, those wee threads in there, as much of a clean with wire brushes as I possibly can. To make it as easy as possible for that nut to come out, to come off. And a little dose of WD-40 in the round area. Apologies, I missed a wee bit there. The video, so I'll let that sit for a minute. And then I'm going to try and loosen this nut here to start with. And then if, once I get that loose, the next thing I'm going to try is this one. So that's a 24. The one around the back here is 18. And that is 18. So I've got everything I need here to loosen that up. Okay, so I'm actually holding the back with an 18mm socket. And I'm going to try and loosen the big 24. Millimeter nut at the front. I'm going to use this rag because I think it's going to be tight. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty tight. Although, what I am noticing is I don't actually need to hold the back socket at all because at the minute, anyway, it's not turning with the whole thing. It's just this nut is turning. So, that's good news. So, 
I'm still in the same position, although I've now loosened that till it was finger tight and pushed that a little bit to draw the back end out ever so slightly. So the next thing I'm going to do is keep it somewhere safe so you don't lose it. And I'm going to try and first of all see if I can spin this any just with a Okay, so that is spinning freely. So what I'm going to try and do now is a socket, or not a socket, a spanner or something in behind it. Okay, I'm going to try and put something in behind it. I'm just using a spanner. See if I can pull it out. Right. Well, that is that out. As you can see, it is very long, and that arm there had a decent amount of tension on it as well, and it actually sprung up slightly. You can see the bush peep, peeping out underneath. But as soon as I pulled this out, the bush sprung up slightly, so I'm going to need to get a crowbar and lever that arm down a little bit to give me room to work at the bush. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage that with the camera at the same time. But uh, I'll try. So the next thing <clears throat> I'm going to try and take out is that integral link. That was an 18 mil socket. So, keep it up. And this is going to be very careful. Okay, don't forget to hold on that one. I'm going to get back in here. I'm going to get back in here. I'm going to get back in here. I'm going to get back in So, that's going to be good. Cheer it up. So, it's like very, very good. Keep your chin. So, that's going to be good. Luckily, I didn't shear it off, and I got it out in the end. Undone that drop link there, hoping to get this arm freed up slightly. So it's the next day, and 
I'm not really any further along. I sort of took a break last night. The only thing I managed to do was, uh, this was the Tegra link that went in, or up and underneath there actually. That 18mm bolt that I took out of the top, sorry, of the top of it here. Get the orientation properly. No, that one if you remember. So this just came out from underneath. I'm going to get a new one of them and replace that. So this is what I can see now. There's the ball joint in there. Still don't have any access to it. Where I need to. Because that arm's still in the way. I tried levering this arm down. But there's a good amount of tension in it. And I think it's going to be just easier if I go to the inner part of the control arm. And loosen those eccentric nuts and washers, as you can see I've marked it there so that I can try and get it back as close as I can and I've marked it on the front as well I don't know if it's completely necessary but there's an eccentric washer up there too so this back nut here is a 21mm nut and I have started to loosen that with my spanner. That was extremely tight. So I'm going to take that out and see if this control arm gets any easier to push down in the way and if not I'm going to go to the in there to the last place where it's connected. The bushes are obviously tightened at right height and it's trying to return there all the time. So uh, I'm going to loosen these down. I've already got the drop link detached so I'm going to try that and see if I can move this arm down out of the way to give me proper free space to work on the ball joint or bush without worrying about that control arm snapping up and hurting me or whatever so I'm going to try that now okay apologize I didn't get this on video Stupidly, my vault. Uh, I undid that nut over there. It didn't actually really mess with the tracking too much or the wheel alignment too much, I don't think. Hopefully not, anyway. We've got the marks there, they're still lined up, but that nut coming off alone made it, made it easier for me to actually lean in from here with both hands down either side and push this arm down. And once I pushed it down out of the way, uh, I sort of maneuvered this, this sitting top of it. There's actually not maybe just as much tension on it as I thought there was. Well, certainly not now. There is a good, a, a wee bit, but uh, nothing frightening anymore. If it snapped up, it would probably just make a loud bang. So, the next thing I'm going to do is... See that little, you can see, well, actually the next thing I'm going to do is get a pair of vice grips on here, make them work. Vice grips on here just to... <coughs> Yeah, they're quite tight on. <clears throat> Hopefully that'll just help stop anything from moving there. You see that little joint right in there? That's the circlip. I'll clean off around that and then I'll pull that circlip off. So what's doing is
I need like 10 toilets. I'll be swinging around. I think I'm going to have to share. It's like I think we're going to bring out this. Okay. We'll see. That huh, it was not easy to get off at all. I don't think it's needed anymore, and it might help me get something in around that the, to uh, actually push it out as well. This ball joint has completely had it. As you can see. Oh, it's coming off bits anyway. Right. Let's start off. So now I need to find the right size of cup to push this out towards the front of the car. Yeah, that's completely screwed. <sighs> I'm gonna look and see what sockets and stuff I have that'll sit just sort of over that and on this lip here to push it out towards the front of the car. So I'll go away and see what I have and come back to it now. Hey folks, I suitably learnt my lesson the last time. That big kit did not work. I had to go and buy the proper tool to push this ball joint out. Okay. 
Say this is probably the hardest thing I've ever tried to do with the car yet. I turned off the video there because I actually thought I wasn't going to manage this, but in the end, it worked. The bearings and all on the on the everything shattered on the tool. You know everything's in pieces, but thankfully the cups didn't collapse, so they bent quite a bit. And in the end, I think it's safe. We'll find out. Ah, uh, that looks like it's out to me. There we go. One bearing finally pressed out. I destroyed, I think, three purpose-built bearing uh, bolder pushers getting this out. The last one semi-destroyed it. I'm hoping that it'll still work enough to put the new one in. But just uh, if anyone else is thinking about attempting this, I'm no mechanic, but I struggled big time with this. I really did, I have to admit. It's out now, but it took what I can only describe as an unholy amount of force to push that out and that's with a purpose built tool which is designed for this lots of tapping, lots of penetrative oil, all sorts so that's the old bearing out right, I'll regroup have a cup of tea, clean that hole up and put the new one in so, I'm not some I'm just making sure this clean I don't know
so long, you know, push it longer. See how things worked out. As you can see, it's in fully seated. And you can see from the other side. seated so the next thing to do is install the wee sear clip that came with it I'll try and do this with a just with a screwdriver Got to find one in amongst this mess Yeah. 
Okay. Now, what I'm going to do I have to still do up this eccentric washer, the Weed Alignment thing, but I'll do that at right height. I put this back in, this drop link. I line this all back up and put my new integral link in. So I'll start into that now. You've just installed. So, <clears throat> I've got that back on. Integra, new Integra links pulled it on. Nothing's tight yet, though. The eccentric washer. They actually took off earlier. Is back on, but also not tight. So what I have to do now is jack up this arm until it's at right height, ensuring that that 
goes through the hole. Put the nut back on using my Torx 40 to hold the ball joint. And once it's up at right height, and that's through the hole, tighten everything up to torque. I don't have the torque specs here, but tighten everything up to torque, whatever it is. And then it's all done. So I've got the wheel jacked up to right height. Draw blank secure back down through that hole. Okay, now I'm going to have to hold in there with my Torx 40 while I tighten this. I'll tighten the eccentric wheel alignment sort of nut thing to torque. Tighten this. And these two. To torque specs, I'm going to find out now. And that is the job done. New Integra link, new bush. Nothing wrecked that I'm aware of. So, a success. Start. Lifted up the car again by the jack, the wheels on, everything's torqued down, the way it's meant to be at right height. Axle stand's gone, I'm just gonna let the car down, and that's me done.